Welcome back Cloud Cadets. In the last video, we uh, used the demo generator to uh, create a template. Uh, upon further exploration, it uh, was quite, uh, it was a broke back project to simply put it. It only had some work items, uh, no repos or anything. And then after some serious contemplation, uh, I felt like that might be exclusive to people who are new to this. So uh, to, make sure that everyone can follow along and to be inclusive, especially all the new recruits to the cloud, we're gonna do this from scratch and we're gonna have a project-based approach. So I removed that one, but at least now you know how to generate a template if there's something you're inter interested of in particular, uh, like SAP or anything else. So let's go into the Cloud Cadets project. We, a lot of things that we go through uh, that we will explore later, like repos and pipelines, will depend on our boards. So let's go into boards. Let's assume you are now a, uh, we are now a new project. Uh, I'm currently working on a educational project uh, right now where we uh, have a client that is a physical store that sells computer uh, hardware and related uh, items and accessories and games. And they're a physical store and they want to now digitalize and uh, ha acquire a web shop. Uh, and also they are interested of, uh, they are a bit of uh, game fans uh, from, and they want to create a kind of community. They want physical events. So in this project, we're going to quite uh, mirror that a bit because it will make things easier uh, to start with something simple and grow it. So. The first thing, uh, let's assume we have this requirement specification uh, in my mind, and we have to start somewhere. So what I do, uh, I'm not saying this is the best way, this is just one way. Uh, I will create a epic. I will call it web shop, because that is the primary task of uh, this endeavor that we're gonna, this journey we're gonna partake in now with my team. Uh, and what will bring business value the fastest uh, because this is a uh, owner that is alone and in desperately need of money so our first epic will be a web shop we click uh, back we'll create another web shop i'm sorry another epic i'm gonna call it events as i noticed they uh, want uh, uh, more events and in some ways eventually maybe we can go further than that, have digital events or arrange for events to take it uh, take place in other places than the store. But for now, we're just gonna call it events and keep it simple. Uh, and we'll go back, now we have two. And uh, before I move along here, there are th a few things I want to show uh, that when you're starting here, there are different workflows that some of them make your life harder and some make them more difficult. So for right now, I've created these items. And in this section, we can see all the kind of work items we will have. Epic, feature, uh, user story, task. These are the things we'll be focusing on right now. And uh, there are different ways of adding items uh, in this platform. So if we go to boards here, we see that we can click new item here. And uh, the only thing right now we can add is a user story. And we can modify that by going here to the right called, we see the stories with a chevron pointing down and we can click features and this becomes the highest number so for now i'm going to make my life harder uh, so we start with the the typical approach you do when you start here uh, i'm going to create a feature i'm going to call it uh, authentication and you saw that uh, now this is just alone but i want there to be a hierarchy from uh, epic to feature to user story to tasks and so down here in the bottom right i can click add an existing item as part and i can search for this uh, let's say web shop because that's where we will have the authentication system you know so people can uh, add items to cart uh, they can log in they can make orders save the history all that you know what you expect from a web shop and I'll click add link and then I'll click save again 
uh, you're already starting to get a sense now that there are quite a lot of steps here, and especially have to navigate back each time, which is a little uncomfortable. But we'll continue to this so we can get so we can really see why this uh, is not the preferred way. But we have to start somewhere. So now we'll create uh, create a user story, and I'll create it in the temp uh, in the format where I say as a user. I want to be able to sign in, but in, perhaps in the word we would say, I want to be able to register so I could uh, sign in. And you see, I, I uppercase some of these because just to make them more prominent. You don't have to do this. You can have a different, a completely different format and style than you want. Just doing it how I like it. Now I'm going to go here again. I did existing work at here parent. When, when I click here, once in a month, you saw they come up, but then I can also search. And I can search by, fe uh, if I type feature, it shows all features. And I said, epic, we see them. But you see this list is going to get quite long later. But let's continue. So we want authentication. Add link. Save. Back to work items. Now we have these. Uh, and then I can keep doing this. Uh, I can, for example, even create a task just to showcase this. I'll say... Uh, register UI, just to keep it simple. And if we can be more specific, you want to call it form, that's up to you. You want to break this down to even smaller tasks, that's up to you as well. Um, and me, for me, I would separate between the front end and the back end. You don't have to do that because it might not be that hard. Uh, it depends on your experience. Anyhow, I'll go back here, add a link. Uh, click here, I see it immediately. Had I not, I would have typed user story and found it. And uh, then I type on this one, add link, save, back to work items. Then we have that. Now, are we really going to do this that many times? I mean, this will grow. This will really grow. Now, we could come here to the boards. We could uh, add a new item. And uh, from this hierarchy, as we see, it's based on features. So this new item, it is a feature. But if I set it to user uh, stories, the new item is of user story. Now you can even change this, uh, configure board settings here, and we come to this epics. And I'll click save. We'll explore the rest of this later, but for now let's just focus on the primary stuff. Save. And now I can actually put epics. And uh, after some loading, we see it. Uh, and we click the feature here. Uh, I don't think we can yeah, so the, the, we can only see the, the first two in the chain, the parent and the child's. Uh, so we won't see user stories here. Uh, it's, it's possible you can modify this, and we will explore this later. But you see that in here, we, we can click and add feature automatically, and we can quickly add features. And when we do it here, uh, it will automatically uh, set the, uh, the Epic Web Shop as a parent. So let's say uh, product, we can call this product... Uh, catalog because that's going to be one of the important features. People will come to our site and they'll see all the products. So just keep it simple. And that's a very quick way of seeing it. And if I click here, we see that it automatically has a link to its parent web shop. Now you might wonder, oh, where's this? Well, the three dots up here, add feature. And here we could say uh, uh, something like uh, physical events to be more uh, specific and there we have it and we can do this we can keep going down to features as here add more user stories click here uh, add user story uh, and we can keep going down and stories is then the last level uh, in this our default system which I told you we could customize we could add more work items uh, uh, types uh, but for us, just, we're going to go with the, this default Agile, which is used uh, you know, a lot. And then here we click Tasks. We have that. Had we not had it there, three dots here, Add Task. And here we can add Bug, Test, all that's possible. So let's just keep it simple here. Uh, I can here say that, uh, let's just say we're creating for the backend, I'll call it Register Flow, just to be simple. Um, so we got that covered. Let's go back here. Oh, this is where we're. Uh, we're confusing here. We go back here. Uh, I think we can click anything here to see it. We're going to explore something more here later with Teams, but for now, let's keep it simple. Come back to our work items. 
uh, and we see the new things we added, like product catalog, register flow. But we didn't have to do so many steps because you know Azure likes to punish us with uh, all these steps there and there. So uh, let's see here. If we go to this backlog section, we can see a different kind of UI. Uh, I'm keeping this backlog section for the next video because we will be delving deeper into sprints. But I'll be showcase now how the different ways we can add a new work item. We can even add them here uh, and we get that kind of similar UI uh, as we did in the board there with that uh, shortcut, uh, the one here. New, I mean this one, new item. But I wouldn't recommend that and we're going to see why uh, in the next video. Uh, but from in the next video, we're going to continue on from here. Until the next uplink, my fellow cadets.